So wouldn't it be cool if you could emulate Nintendo Switch games on the Apple Silicon Mac? Unfortunately, popular emulators like Yuzu have never been ported to macOS. And despite the fact that we can emulate high-end PS3 games using our PCS3, Nintendo Switch emulation is still a distant dream. This is despite the fact that this is running on an ARM chip, and of course the Apple Silicon Mac is an ARM chip as well. In theory, this should reduce the amount of work that's involved, as you don't have to translate between different CPU architectures. However, the real issue on the Mac is the lack of compatible graphics APIs. However, this is all about to change thanks to a Reddit user called Kent J. Hall. And what they've done is they've created a new Linux virtual machine called Horizon, which has been patched to accept Nintendo Switch operating system calls. And what this means is that for the very first time, you can actually boot Switch games on a Linux virtual machine actually running on Apple Silicon hardware. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac gaming news. So this new approach is pretty novel. We're not emulating the Nintendo Switch, we're virtualizing it. And virtualization has several benefits. For example, this virtual machine can run on any ARM64 hardware that can run Linux, and it'll even work on lower end hardware as there's no need to emulate the CPU. However, this is still in very early stages. So the only games that can actually run are this Homebrew Space Invaders game and also Pio Pio Tetris, which doesn't really run at full speed. And this is due to the fact that the Apple Silicon Mac lacks access to the latest graphics APIs. We don't have access to Vulkan and we don't have access to the latest versions of OpenGL. However, what Kent has done is that they've managed to get this operating system to run on the Jetset Nano, which is a system on a chip that's quite similar to a Raspberry Pi. This runs an ARM64 chip and it's supports OpenGL 4.6. So this shows that commercial games can run at a good speed as long as the latest graphics APIs are supported. And this is the thing which is really holding back gaming on a Mac and also Mac emulation as well. However, work on this is being done. So for example, one of the comments in the thread, which I'll leave a link to in the description, mentions the fact that Asahi Linux is gonna be integrating GPU support. So if you don't know what Asahi Linux is, it's a native Linux operating system that's being developed for the Apple Silicon Mac. Their goal is not to emulate or not to virtualize Linux, but to have it running on bare metal hardware. Hardware. And one of the main things that's missing is the lack of 3D graphics acceleration and GPU support. But thankfully, it does look like some of the developers of Asahi Linux are getting GPU support integrated into the operating system. And Kent has already mentioned that he would patch in the GPU support from Asahi Linux into the virtual machine once it's ready. So we're still quite a ways away from getting proper full Nintendo Switch emulation running on Apple Silicon hardware. However, it's the closest that we've ever been so far. So I do hope that some of the people who do watch this video eventually make their way over to Kent's GitHub pages for this project and help to make some kind of contribution to make this Switch gaming on Apple Silicon Max a reality. So for now, there isn't actually a way for you to test this out yourself at the moment. However, as soon as Kent releases a public release, I'll be sure to make a video about it then. So if you're interested in emulating games on the Apple Silicon Mac, then please make sure to check out my other video where I test out a whole bunch of different game emulators for macOS. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.